A mother and her son die in a head-on collision. Possible roundabouts and bridges coming to Zion National Park and local businesses have gifted a car to a family in need. You're watching St. George News at 5. Good afternoon, I'm Christy Langenheim. The community of Fredonia, Arizona is mourning the loss of its mayor, Christy Riddle, and her son, Trevor Burroughs, who were killed in a crash on Navajo Route 20. The town came together earlier this week in honor of the mother and son who were both described as having hearts as big as the sky. Several members of the community said both Riddle and Burroughs have left a legacy of service and compassion throughout the community and left a profound impact on those who were able to get to know them. Officials are discussing the south entrance of Zion National Park and the improvements that can be made for pedestrians and traffic flow. Stephanie DeGraw has more details on the proposed projects. Zion National Park is proposing to realign the roadway from the south entrance fee station to the Zion Canyon Visitor Center. There would be two roundabouts, reconfigured parking for large vehicles, and improved Zion bus shuttle travel. The proposal would add a new vehicle and pedestrian bridge and reroute trails. At an online public meeting Tuesday night, park officials addressed safety concerns and environmental impacts. Comments from the public will be taken until April 10th. Thanks, Stephanie. St. George News had the chance to sit down with the Friends of Pando to discuss the upcoming release of their new 12-minute documentary on the world's largest tree. Here's Alicia Lundgren with some details about the documentary and its release date. Friends of Pando kicked off its Pando Photographic Survey in 2021 in collaboration with Fish Lake National Forest and Snow College in Richfield. The team used 360-degree cameras to photograph the tree, documenting over 8,000 locations, one of which can be seen here in footage courtesy of the nonprofit. While the project isn't 100% complete, the nonprofit says it is ready to tell the story. St. George News got an exclusive preview of the 12-minute documentary, as can be seen here, featuring behind-the-scenes work and interviews with participants, like Lindy Madden, for whom the project had personal meaning. My father was a photographer, a biologist, a surveyor, and an engineer, and he inspired my love of nature and science. After he passed away, uh, I looked for ways to connect with him, and when this project came up, I thought it was the perfect thing to do. It combined everything he loved, and it's brought me a lot closer to him. Southern Utahns can check out the documentary this Friday at Friends of Pando's YouTube page. Thanks, Alicia. And now I'm going to send it over to Sheldon and Amy to give us a breakdown of what's going on this weekend in St. George. That's right, so many great events happening this weekend. One of my favorite events of the year, the Vintage Market Days, is happening Thursday through Saturday. That's right, we have Marie Osmond in town as well. She is, get your tickets, go to the box office, Utah Tech University, and it's for a great cause. It is a great cause. And for a full list of weekend events, check out our TGIF listing on stgeorgenews.com. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, guys. A St. George man and his family have faced homelessness and adversity since the COVID pandemic but they received a heartwarming and life-changing gift on behalf of some local organizations. Eric George Gold has more on the story. There were tears of joy and gratitude on Tuesday at the Tag and Go Car Wash on West Sunset Boulevard, Dixie Auto Salvage, Tag and Go, and Switchpoint, partnered with other local businesses and vendors to donate a vehicle to a St. George family in need. Eddie Perry, Justine Yazzie, and their two boys have worked with Switchpoint since the pandemic, when hard times forced the family to live without a car. The vehicle donation represents another Switchpoint success story in its mission to combat homelessness in St. George. Thanks, Eric. Southern Utahns should get ready for the 45th annual St. George Art Festival that will take place at Historic Town Square on March 29th through the 30th. The event showcases over 160 artists, along with live music, a film festival, and a 5K race. The art festival will run from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. both days. Thank you for watching St. George News at 5. I'm Christy Langenheim with St. George News, your number one source for local news. This has been St. George News at 5.